On the front, there is an OA LED screen, joystick, speed button, the roller is on the back of the thumb controller. The OLED screen interface can display the connecting state, gimbal battery level, thumb controller battery level, recording state, focus speed, gimbal speed, and follow mode. The signal icon shows the connecting state. There will be an X above the signal icon when connecting fails. The battery icon is in black when fully charged. Otherwise, it's in white. Use the joystick to control the gimbal movement, horizontal movement control the pan axis, and select projects. Moving leftwards will return you to the previous menu. Moving rightwards confirms your selection. A long press will turn the power on or off. A single press will start or stop a recording. A long press will change the speed settings between the gimbal movement and focus control speeds. A single press will change speeds between low, medium, and high. A single press will switch the follow modes between pan follow, tilt follow, and all locked. A long press will bring you to the main menu. It is necessary to pair the Mozua with the thumb controller when you change the thumb controller or Mozua gimbal. Long press option to enter the menu. Then, choose pair and move the joystick rightwards to enter the secondary menu. Move the joystick downwards to choose the yes option and move the joystick rightwards again to enter the pairing mode. Wait for the Mozua to turn on pairing. Install the intelligent battery in the Mozua and the pairing is complete. The screen will display OK for one second if the pairing is successful. It will automatically return to the secondary menu, after which you can go back to the main menu. Mozua can be controlled via the controller. Otherwise, the screen will continue to show pairing. Because there are different weights and means of controlling the Mozua, Multiwa needs different parameters to balance itself. After choosing a type of camera, the corresponding parameters must be saved to the Multiwa. You must keep the power on while operating. Long press the Options button to enter the menu, and choose Camera. Move the joystick rightwards to enter the secondary menu. In this menu, there are various types of cameras. Move the joystick vertically to choose the camera type. Move rightwards to enter the third menu where you can choose the weight of your lens. The weight of your lens is divided into three levels, ultralight, light, and heavy. Choose the option that corresponds to your lens weight and move the joystick rightwards. The screen will display OK for half a second. It will display camera ERR if you choose the wrong type of camera. If this happens, please check the connections between Mozua and the thumb controller and then try again. Long press the Options button to enter the menu. Move the joystick downwards to choose the Follow Speed. Move the joystick rightwards to enter the Speed menu. Vertical movements of the joystick to choose the speed level, low, medium, high if you want. Then move the joystick rightwards to save your choice. The OLED display will show OK after saving successfully. Move the joystick upwards, downwards, rightwards, and leftwards to control any one of the gimbal's axes. The operation modes can be set freely by custom. Long press the Options button to enter the menu. Move the joystick downwards to choose Habit. Then, move the joystick rightwards to enter the list of custom hardware. Choose Joystick, and then move rightward. Up-down represents moving the joystick upwards or downwards. Left-right represents moving the joystick leftwards or rightwards. Left-right is also used to remap the left and right of the joystick you are able to choose the direction that you need to be remapped. Move the joystick rightwards to choose the gimbal's axis. After completing the remapping, move the joystick and the corresponding power motor will follow. 